Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is Gary. Oh, and we... this is Chris. Hello. You know these people from the citation needed. <laughs> yeah, yes. we don't get to introduce ourselves. Come on, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm alright with that actually. No, I'm, I'm fine with being introduced. I'm Chris. I get that in most <laughs> I'm also Chris. I get that most places I go actually. What, you're Chris? Like no, a bugler in front of me. <laughs> and they roll out a carpet. And Chris Jones! <laughs> and this is the park bench! <laughs> yes! yes. And we are staring directly into the sun again, but we have just finished recording the new run of Citation Needed. It will be out in uh, a couple months when we're, when we're done editing. Oh, no, you know that. No, well, we don't do anything with that now. <laughs> yeah, your jobs are done just now. Just the stars, it's now darling. The, <laughs> no, we're just the talent. It's now on Matt to, Matt to make the audio sound good and me to, to edit the video. Which yeah, is... me to refresh my big, big binder of knob gags for the next... <laughs> For summer. <laughs> to be no, fair, that's more work than I put in. <laughs> yeah, you were surprisingly, surprisingly quite low on knob gags this season. It was, spoilers, spoilers. It, it was all poo. Oh, it oh, was. I'm going to edit down the amount of... A lot of wing, a lot of wing. Also jokes about that. Same <laughs> highbrow content as, as ever. ever. Uh, so I just put a tweet out saying, uh, get your questions in for the park bench crew. And nobody gives a shit. Oh uh, no, we've got we've got quite a few. What? I've actually got some really interesting ones. So the first one's the obvious one. How? What are you doing, people? First What's one's the obvious about? one. First one is from uh, Johnny. How did we all meet? University. Yes. Well, radio. It's, it's a bit. Yeah, but there's different stages of it, isn't there? Yeah. Because I met. Well, I met. I met him first. Yes. Uh, I was I was chair of the Douglas Adams Society. I have at, the I have uh, the photo of the first time we met when so you I. gave me a fake degree. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's what we were doing. Yeah. And you saw. I was there before. I'm the oldest. Yeah. One. You signed up to Doug Sock while I was chair. So yeah. that's what I can't remember for the life of me is how we ended up doing the radio version of this that started in 2004. I, I, got, I got a radio show on University Radio York. Yep. Uh, I think, which of you were on it first? Me. Yeah, Bruce Gary was there first. And Graham. Yeah, oh, and a whole load. Like load that had people, a rotating yeah. cast. Yeah. cast many, the thousands. Many, many, many. I, I was on it from the start. And then you went off to Aberystwyth. I went off to do another uni. Basically, yep. on my big ice by book of unis, I thought I'd get another one. <laughs> uh, Chris, you were part of it by then. For, you yes. took over from me. I took over directly yeah. from Gary. You did, you regenerated. Yes. I, I wrote, forgot that. That was <laughs> a huge Doctor Who regeneration scene. I, I my wrote, hair was like... Yeah. It was long. So was mine. That's that was, true. Yeah. Mine wasn't. Um, yeah, I wrote that, and then yeah, we, we and took over. Yeah, we you so we never did a show together. Yeah, you did much, much later when you came back. You did the Christmas special. And then a long, long time later, with us two still on it... I joined. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that won a student radio award. Polishers. Two, actually. Say two. Two. Yeah. two. We, we, got a, we got a special award for creativity the first year that was out. And we also got a silk... A bronze. Silk. Nobody, ever, nobody bronze. ever heard knob gags before, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. We got a commendation for one of the, one of the best fair, one, ones for the confidence for starting our show with a knob gag, because ah. four men running a show. Well, the knob gag was basically the sound of a fire hose and rolling for about 30 <laughs> seconds with a big clonk on <laughs> the end, as I remember. To that. It wasn't a clonk, it was a bell for a the bell. bell, bell. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> We always said we should have done that, and we didn't. Really? There we yeah. go. Oh, Fact okay. we, did a, we did a thud and then regretted it the moment so, we heard it. So yeah, university, then university radio, then Well, I met, I met uh, Matt on the last ever tech diff, because you brought me back in. Yes. yes. To do the last oh, yeah. ever tech I'd never, I'd never met, met you before you then. I'd heard yep. about you, but I'd never met you, and that's where I, that's where I met you. Oh and my then... God, so many questions. Okay, carry on. Right, so that's, that's how we all met. And, okay, I, boys. Just something, it was only the second time I met you that we were doing our video show of it. <laughs> We were filming segments for the video. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which, frighteningly, has now cropped up on the playlist of general citation needed on YouTube. Ah, got the old... The original the three original. from the YSTV. Yeah. TV. Oh, of... that's it. So, so that was York Student Television. We thought we'll take the radio show, we'll do pilots for a TV yeah. thing. We did three. It didn't... It was too much scripted, too much... Kind of, it didn't quite... Well, it was too much Top Gear. Well, yeah. We, we hadn't found what we were right at doing yet. And that was constant. And when we guys. do, you'll see that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to need a new format at some point. There's only so many interesting Wikipedia articles we can work on. And we got through those in the we're first two to recycle. <laughs> I'm worried we're going to start to recycle gags. We need a new format. We need to do, like, agony ant advice to the... Actually, that's, that's not a bad... Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> if you want to cause agony, dear... <laughs> well, there's the, the original... In this incarnation, yeah. when we did the podcast, we did the um, reverse the, trivia. trivia. There's, That's there's, still there's the audio that. episodes. Yeah. Still hangs around in the background. Yeah. Like oh, well, well, well we might test some new stuff out at the live show. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. Oh. Oh, we're doing live we're, and new. Make it easy. The, no, we, no, no, way no, of, no, no, no. No better way of making us know that we're doing <laughs> <laughs> No, we... we Basically, at some point, there'll be a Q&A like this in between. I think we're going to try and record two episodes at the live show. 
Yeah, that sounds right. about right. Are we? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Details aren't out yet. They will be when the new season comes out. We're still working on the details, but there will be some sort of live show. Uh, so yeah, that's so the question was more how questions. do we all meet? The, uh, more questions. Oh, got that one. Um, what's the single most terrifying experience of our lives? Ooh. What, are you on the dark one or the funny one? No, the funny one. <laughs> the funny one. Stick with the funny one. Oh, God. Uh, you've been in my car. <laughs> you haven't seen <laughs> me driving yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I was just thinking, coming back from the old radio shows, yeah. when I had the knackered original oh Mark IV Fiesta yes. <laughs> veering across the road. Oh, sorry, pendulum, Mark, pendulum definitely not veering out. across the road. <laughs> pendulum blasting out the speakers as we go down the A64 <laughs> to the supermarket. I've forgotten that. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, Gary, you weren't in that one. We're, we're driving off from this. Oh. We, will, we will play some Pendulum and give you some of the experience. Right, so, uh, hey. da dangling off a dam on a rope uh, oh. in, a, in a charity abseil. Oh, that's good. Duck. I thought you meant lynch mob had finally got you. <laughs> <laughs> from West York. He reads! Get him! <laughs> With his book learning and words. <laughs> yeah. Words. Reading in doos, bruh. Uh, we fa fairly common question. Why Why were you nicknamed Toast? That never happened. All right. There you go. Um, what, uh, it, are you on Twitter yet? No. no. <laughs> of course he's not. Have you not worked out the pattern yet, people? I'm actually on less social media than when we started this. My biography on the site's got shorter and has more redactions. Um, how did you end up in archives, Gary? Um, Use the I, door. Uh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> Job application. How did you now, find Australia? I just got off the plane and there he was. Uh, well, no, um, I just wanted to do it. Um, you went of your own accord? Yeah, well, I, I, I was doing research. <laughs> Wasn't press ganged or no. anything? <laughs> No, no, I wanted to do it. I wanted to repeat that to yourself, yeah. So yourself, you're right? an archivist now. Um, no, no, I was doing, I was doing some research, and I thought to myself, can I be an academic, or I can work with this stuff hands on every day. And I thought mm -hmm. I'd rather do that. That's, no, that's, that's, on, that's the honest point, to be honest. That is it. Simple as that. Don't do it. There's no money in it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more for you if you convince other people not to. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we got in here? Um, I'm not answering that Is it that the one, one about horse-sized ducks and duck-sized uh, Yeah, totally. Horses? I've skipped past that. I've skipped past that. <laughs> but obviously, uh, duck-sized horses. Obviously. No! Horse-sized ducks. Are we actually doing this question? Underneath it. When, whereupon it just sits on you. Oh, right. So you've been underneath the duck and it's automatically sat, have you? Anyway, we'll come back to this later. It just kicks at the... Anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> Many biting mouths, Tom. Uh, we've Many got three mouth. more people uh, asking why you were called Toast. Still didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yeah. Um... As, what's each of your first orders at the pub? I mean, what, literally the first time I went into a pub? No, 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 no. What, you go in the pub, what are you having? Because you know what I'm having, I'm probably going to just... water. Yeah, pint of tap water. Actually, yeah, you... Tom's order is never an order, it's asking us politely if yeah. we'll get a pint of water for him when we go to the yeah. bar. He says yeah. water, it's pure gin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pint of crème de menthe, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, don't, not that time I accidentally got... Uh, like the, do you remember the drinking custard? <laughs> I'd oh. I, no, I'd, I, I forget where we were. Was it Scarborough or something like that? I bought like vanilla milkshake. Oh, oh yeah, stuff. I do remember. It that. was meant to be vanilla milkshake. You know, it's basically just creme on glaze. <laughs> oh. just, you drank custard. Yeah, I remember that now. Um, pint of, well, pint of ale, pint of bitter. Depends what's on. Magic Rock Highwire. Oh, we're actually naming brands. Abbeydale Moonshine. I am now, yeah. Yeah, Abbeydale Moonshine. Something brew dog or something flying dog. Aye. Yeah. Uh, what's the best biscuit in the world? Oh man, that's probably not even a throwback to biscuit cereal or cake. Might be. No, Might because be, no one listens to that. No, <laughs> no, we did it in the uh, we did it in the live show as well. Yeah, we on did. the oh, final no. round yeah. of the battle of the beer. When I was when I ran, no ran out of questions, that either. no, when I ran out of questions for a feature we used to do in in the old radio show, I would just go to biscuit cereal or cake as a question. So, for example, uh, Victoria sponge, cake, okay. cake. yeah, correct. Um, I can't think of any biscuits. That wasn't that problem. challenging, was no. it? No. Bloody hell, Tom. I'm glad you're not doing Mastermind. <laughs> the <laughs> best. Final round biscuit cereal, look it. So what's the best biscuit? Uh, uh, a custard cream's up there with the normal biscuits. Oh. But then you go oh. for a fancy biscuit like a Viennese. Yeah. Oh, the no. Viennese chocolate one. Those ones you get in M&S. Um, Biscuit selection packs where they're almost solid chocolate with a oh, little the, bit of biscuit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the oh, one. That's the one. That's the fair shout. That's the one. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. Uh, chocolate hobnob, obviously. Ooh, controversial. Really? Yeah. Best, yeah. Ki best kind of hobnob. Clacky. Yeah. 
Uh, what's the uh, what was your favourite subject in school? Oh, English. Uh, sorry, sorry. History. English. Design and technology. Probably geography, weirdly. That and makes that, sense. And that explains how we ended up like we are. <laughs> yeah, there's not really there's not <laughs> much science or, or technology. Well, there's, there's, there's technology. I like the yeah. It was DT, so I made stuff. I was yeah. shocking at it, but I made stuff. <laughs> That's not mm. where I expected those syllables to go. <laughs> I'm trying to be good. <laughs> trying. Bloody hell, I'm trying. not. <laughs> um, interesting one here. Right. Um, and if there's suddenly a white flash on screen, it's because I changed the question. How many of you care about privacy? Things that are recorded have a very long life mm. and last a very long time. I'm looking after stuff that's a thousand years old. Don't ever oh, commit. Yeah. E don't mm. ever commit anything to writing that you wouldn't want someone to read and judge you on in a thousand years. Wow. Years probably sans, won't mind. Sans context. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. We you realise your, fa your face has just been put up uh, as a Snapchat with Rod Hull's face over the top of it. That did. That did I'm not happen. bothered. But to me, that's fine. Okay. To be fair, that was f***ing hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and now, a terrifying Snapchat face swap <laughs> of, of Gary and Rod Hull. Oh, it's over there. Horrible. You... <laughs> <laughs> I'd say can't have a look, but then it'll be me. You won't be able to unsee. <laughs> <it. laughs> But I'm fine with that. That's fine. That's part of me. That's part of my story. That's part of what I do. But when you're thinking about things you might not want people to know about, mm -hmm. it has a longer mm -hmm. life than you do. Let's go for something less deep. All right. Where did the name Tech Diff come from? Oh, oh I, I can answer that. That, that was me. I mean, yeah, but I can remember a specific incident. I was looking for a name for the show because I knew I was going to do a radio show of some sort. I was looking for a name. And we were meant to be covering... It was my first year covering student union elections as part of the news team or something like that. And the live link went down. And suddenly, me and someone had to cover for like half an hour while a load of engineers, this is before you got there, Matt, a load yeah. of engineers trying to make the light ring. And at the end of the show, I just said, right, you've been listening to the technical difficulties, now back to the uh, thing. And I cut the mic down, I was like, there it is. That's, do. a, that's a name. <laughs> that's and a in, name. And in a joke that gets edited, because <laughs> this is already taken. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I'm going to have to bleep you and blur your mouth for that one, Mass. No, that's just a good one. Thing. Just cut the whole thing. Cut the whole thing. No, not. The yes. point of the half heart bench is very little editing. Yes. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, no, I'm in trouble then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this will go up mostly intact. Yes. <laughs> Just like the Titanic didn't. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to take a couple more questions. What activities make you enjoy life the most? I think I'm going to rephrase that as what's your favourite thing to do in your spare time? Oh, so not sitting in a in a uh, sweaty room yeah, being with in a small three smelly other room, yeah. On the first <laughs> sunny that. day of every bloody <laughs> yeah, year. Good yeah, point, yeah. 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 May, yeah. whenever. And, and then the last one in September. That's a good yeah. point. We, we ought to announce publicly when we're recording much earlier because you know it'll be a sunny day. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's true. I that's and now. the one time we leave to get lunch, it pisses it down and hails. That's yes. quite good. Soaked. Yeah. Absolutely um, soaked. Watching cricket. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have, that's that's fine for me. With with family, that's fine with me. Rather you than me. <laughs> <laughs> you, I never did go to a test match with you. Shit, yeah, well, there's still time. Not this year, but there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, friends, down the pub with friends. Because that's, firstly, socialising, and secondly, it's where I get a lot of my ideas from. Yeah. It's just being able to bounce ideas off people and, and figure things out that way. I like being outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like being in a dark room, dimly lit, with humans with instruments. You mean gigs. Go, Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, go, go on to gigs. Yeah. Go on, oh, not what? surgery. I was going to say, you didn't define <laughs> instruments for a gig. I don't think. You did All your right. own time, your own business. In which case, I'm going to follow that up, what's the best gig you've ever been to? Uh, I've said this on the bench before, but 100 Reasons are always very good. I've seen Muse a load of times. Nah. I Slipknot, I've seen many times. Yep. Gary? I've just got tickets to McFly. Oh, yeah. They're always very good. Oh, have they broken up with Boston again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah split out. Yep. Well, you have all the many, many gigs I've been to, Tom. Um, public service broadcasting, Lee Jr. Yep. Flaming Lips. Touch Wayne Coyne right in the knee. Oh! <laughs> right in the knee! Oh, oh and his inflaty ball! And he's in his hovery ball, yeah? Yeah. Well, not hovery, you know, rolling with all the weight of a human being. Well, most of the weight of a human being. He's a very small man. <laughs> Huge ego, small human. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm not sure I can actually, I think the most spectacular, I don't know if it's the best experience, I can't think of them all that way, but one of the best shows I've ever seen was Pink at the Wireless Festival. Um, because she did, firstly, she's clearly singing live, but she's singing live while 50 foot in the air on aerial silks, or while being, you know those, ca those camera platforms? Is it a fly? It's a fly. Winged beast. You know those camera platforms where they've got four wires down and the cameras, the sky cam things? Mm -hmm. For football and stuff. Yeah, uh, she's just in one of those instead of the camera, being flung around above the audience and singing Fair live. Way. It's like, that is a yeah. hell of a show. show. I've seen that, and she was, she was suspended from four points of the arena. She yeah. could be driven to any 3D point in space. Yeah. And she's <laughs> on a gyroscopic mount, so she can twizzle oh, that yeah, way. Oh yeah, because she does acrobatics. Yeah. So she can mm. literally position herself like that and... Boom, while singing. Phones. While singing live. All right, quick answers. What's your favourite cheese? Oh, a uh, very strong... Leodammer. Very strong, mature cheddar. Harrogate Blue. Nice one. Uh, I'm with Gary. Strong, mature cheddar. Um, if Citation needed had a mascot, what would it be? Gary. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your favourite emoji? Gary. Gary. And finally, why did Chris end up with the nickname Toast? Never happened. That's it, we're yeah. done! Bye! <laughs> Do we have anything for after the credits? No.